Hey what's up guys, OSJ here and I'm following up on the movie based game series and this time we're going to be looking at the 20 best Amiga movie based games. As with the Commodore 64 list there are a good few games based on films and as with the C64 list they are good and bad and really bad. This however is the 20 best and we will check out the worst in an upcoming video. Before I get into this video I'd like to congratulate my good friend and fellow YouTuber Sinister for hitting his 1k subs milestone and getting accepted into the YouTube partner scheme. Steve does some really good games room and pickup videos covering all systems but he loves his Amiga and has a great collection. If you haven't been to Sinister's channel get over there, I'll put a link in at the end of this video and drop him a sub and watch some of the great retro content that he has made over the last year. Ok, we have a pretty strong list here, especially the top 10, so sit back, relax and enjoy what I would say are the best Amiga movie based games in order of greatness. So let's kick it off with Hudson Hawk in 20th place. This is nowhere near as good as the C64 game but it's still worthy of a place in the top 20 list. It's better looking and sounding than the C64 but the gameplay is just ok, nothing special. If you want to play Hudson Hawk and have a means to play it, play it on the C64 for the best experience. In 19th position is the Karate Kid Part 2. This game was a real surprise for me when I played it. I never bothered with it back in the day, but I have to say for what it is it's alright. Ok it's no IK plus, but still everything is there to make it a worthwhile karate game and we get the players Daniel LaRusso too. Blues Brothers is in 18th place. The cult classic movie was turned into a great game on the Amiga. The graphics are nice but the star of the game is the music which is worth firing the game up for alone. This game is a great platformer but a little short but where it really shines is in 2 player mode where it is so much fun. Seventeen place is taken by Alien 3. Now I had this on the Mega Drive and I never played the Amiga version until a few years ago and I have to say, while it's not as good as the Mega Drive version, it's still pretty impressive. It's a super hard game role that takes a lot of memorising to get anywhere on it. In 16th place is Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. This is a great looking and playing vector style game that isn't too far away from the arcade. If you like the arcade Star Wars games then you would definitely like this as it's one of the best home parts of the arcade game. T2 the arcade game is in 15th position. This is the best Terminator game on the system by a clear mile. It's an Operation Wolf type game that was a massive hit in the arcades and this conversion is totally awesome too. Obviously can't compare with the arcade peripherals but looks wise it's cop on. The only thing I would say is the lack of sound effects with the music is a down point. Fourteen place is taken by The Spy Who Loved Me. This is the best Bond game on the system and it is a lot of fun to play even if you've completed it. It's a top down spy hunter type game but has some great visuals and some nice vehicles from the Lotus to jet skis but the one I like is the Lotus submarine level. Don't get me wrong this game isn't perfect, it has a lot of bugs but as far as Bond games go it's solid.
In 13th place we have Plan 9 from Outer Space. This is a lesser known game of a probably even lesser known movie. The movie was released in 1959 and was, as you can probably guess, about alien invaders. And I would say having watched around 20 minutes of the movie, this point and click adventure surpasses the film and some. If you're into your point and clicks, this one is very good and will have you busy for a while in a good way. The Lion King is in 12th place. Virgin Interactive really knew how to knock out a great Disney game and this is one classy looking platform game that is true to the movie. Obviously we all know that it's not going to be the best Disney game on the list but it's a very close second to Aladdin and one that I think would still pass the test of time with kids today. The 11th position is taken by the Addams Family. The Addams Family was a pretty good game on most of the home systems it was released on. While I have never been a massive fan of the movies, I really like the platform action of this game. The music and sound effects are cool too. In 10th place is Hook. This is based on the Robin Williams movie and is a film that I loved when I was younger and even now I sit down and watch it with my kids as I'm a bit of a Peter Pan myself. Anyway, great animation on this adventure game and also a cracking soundtrack. While it's not as good as Monkey Island etc, it's still a good game but let down by how short it is. Lethal Weapon takes 9th place. The Mel Gibson Danny Glover movie was a massive hit and is one of my favourite go to movies still when I'm bored. While this game doesn't really follow the plot of the movie, it's still a class movie based action platform game but I think it would have been better if you had the choice of character instead of just playing as rigs. Also it's rock hard, well for me anyway, but still worth playing. Eighth position is taken by the original Star Wars. This, as with The Empire Strikes Back, is a vector style game conversion of the popular arcade game. It's definitely the best Star Wars movie game on the system and will appeal to lovers of the original trilogy, but maybe not so much to the younger players. In 7th place is Batman the Movie, another class version of this game. I say that because it's good on the C64, Amstrad, Spectrum and ST. This one has better Batmobile and Batwing levels than the 8 bits and also the graphics are more polished. While I still prefer the C64 there's no denying that this is probably the best version of the lot. Robocop 3 takes 6th place. This game took the franchise to another level. Whilst I love Robocop on the arcade, I never really liked the Amiga version and Robocop 2 was a joke. This one though was like a breath of fresh air when it was released, with the first person aspect and super slick visuals. This is still an enjoyable game to fire up and play today and is definitely Ocean's best movie game on the system.
Fifth position is taken by Aladdin. This is right up there with the Mega Drive version for looks, sound and gameplay. As I said with Lion King, Virgin could really knock out a classic game when it came to the animation style. And this one is like playing a live cartoon and it takes the crown for the best platformer on this list. In 4th place is Elvira 2. Every teenage boy and I'm sure some girls love to ogle at Elvira and in this game we got plenty of ogling scenes but it's not just about that. This game has some of the best adventure RPG gameplay on the system with that creepy atmosphere and sound. Visually it was excellent too. I never finished this one but I plan to revisit it as it's so good. Elvira Mistress of Darkness takes 3rd place. This was the original and best Elvira game on the Amiga, just pipping the Jaws of Cerberus into 3rd place. It's a brilliant horror adventure RPG that actually threw up some real frights and an all round creepy scary atmosphere. And oh yeah, we got to see more of the lovely Elvira. Second place is taken by Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. This is one of two Last Crusade games, the other one being a platform adventure game that was really quite poor. This one however is anything but poor. This was released by US Gold but developed by LucasArts and you can tell as it oozes their point and click style. If there's one game on this list that follows the movie faithfully then this is it. Unfortunately it's overshadowed by Monkey Island etc but this is definitely one of the best LucasArts games ever. And now in first place is June 2. This was actually based on the David Lynch film June, even though I'm sure that people will say it's not. Anyway, based on or not, it's the best real time strategy game on the Amiga. This was groundbreaking at the time and it's known as the granddaddy of all RTS games as we know them now. I know that this is a game that some people won't have really gotten into, but if you like RTS games then this one is the cream of the crop. Ok that's it for this video, please let me know what your favourite Amiga movie based games were in the comments below and if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff. Till next time, this is OSG, signing out.